welcome to Euler TV. We're here in beautiful Barcelona for the Euler 2025 Congress. My name is Maria Sokolova. I'm a medical doctor and researcher at the University Hospital Schleswig-Holstein in Kiel, Germany. And it is my great pleasure today to interview Dr. Paria Tarek. She's a postdoctoral researcher currently at King's College London. And we are talking today about her work that she actually did in Leeds. Uh, also as a postdoctoral researcher and we are meeting today after the session the good, the bad and the ugly new insights into RA mechanisms. Dr. Tarek, thank you very much for being here and taking the time. Thank you for inviting me for the interview. Great pleasure. Um, so uh, the work of Dr. Tarek is actually on the transition from RA at risk to the RA which is a very hot discussed topic in recent years and uh, she was looking into the cell mechanisms and gene signatures in the patients during this transition. So could you maybe summarize the most important um, data from your research for us? Sure, thank you for the question. So we performed single cell RNA sequencing on uh, peripheral blood immune cells in individuals who are CCP positive and at risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. We particularly focused on those who imminently progress to uh, RA. We found that prior to joint involvement, the CCP at risk individuals have an upregulation of type 1 interferon stimulated gene signature. But on the joint involvement, the signature disappears and there is a higher abundance of inflammatory monocytes expressing, for example, monocytes uh, expressing IL-1 beta and a, a CD8 Tembra cell population. So these findings reveal a temporal uh, shift in immune responses where we see a type 1 interferon uh, signature prior to joint involvement. And, and as joints are involved, we see an upregulation of uh, pro-inflammatory immune cell phenotype, uh, which is uh, very exciting. So I also thought it was particularly interesting that individuals who showed no changes on uh, joint ultrasound, uh, in your study they emerged with more uh, interferon signature genes and uh, more innate immune cells playing the role. So do you think that there is a switch maybe taking place from uh, innate immune system being active in the very early stages and then later on switching to adaptive immune immunity? Um, absolutely. Our data does suggest that there is a, a very early um, innate adaptive immune interaction and type 1 interferon could be playing uh, a very prominent role. And this trigger could be originating at the mucosal sites, that's where initial uh, break in immune tolerance occurs. There, there is some uh, evidence that uh, type 1 interferon gene signature, particularly in monocytes, is driven by um, periodontal disease in established RA. Hence, we anticipate that the signature that we are seeing in circulation could be originating at mucosal sites at the very first environment gene interaction. So I find it also interesting that um, you're talking about interference signature, which, ha which has been uh, not very prominent in RA research. And I think, I feel like it's an emerging topic because I also saw a poster here in the area about interference signature. Um, do you think that there is need for more research uh, for interference signature taking part in later array stages? The interference signature has been observed in um, early drug-naive uh, rheumatoid arthritis patients. However, it's uh, modulated by DMAR therapy. Yeah. But there are patients who do not respond to DMAR therapy, so the signature would be particularly of interest to explore in those individuals, as uh, interferon signature has been linked with um, therapeutic uh, poor response. I see, yeah. That's very interesting. And um, do you think there could be a potential for further targeted therapies emerging from your research or from this field? I think the interferon gene signature holds a strong potential to be used as therapeutic target. It could be used as a therapeutic biomarker to repurpose the existing um, type 1 interferon targeting therapies or potentially build newer therapies. However, the high heterogeneity in type 1 interferon gene signature tied up with uh, immune cell diversity currently li uh, limits its clinical utility. Therefore, there is a need for more targeted therapies to dissect the heterogeneity in interferon gene signature 
and uh, explore more uh, precision medicine-based uh, medicines. Um, therapies. Okay, so that was very interesting and thank you very much for taking time, for being here for our audience and for you, please stay tuned to ULAR TV because there are more interviews following in the next days at this Congress.